Hey guys, Shocker Cyclone here, and uh, we're still playing Mass Effect today. Um, this is our third episode that we've actually, that I've actually started today. Um, we have been talking to people on the Citadel, and thought we were just going to be talking to a few people. Ended up talking to a lot more people. Got missions, get money out of it, get XP out of it. Haven't had to kill anyone yet, which is good. So I believe we have to go through here. So we have to go to Cora's Den, talk to this girl, see if we can get her out of there, back to her sister at uh, Flux, and uh, hopefully this goes well. Yeah, last episode I bought new armor and a new gun. So. Where is she? There she is. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Push it off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. Ooh, ominous music. And now we gotta go to Seasick Academy. Oh, we gotta go there anyway, because we have to talk to that freaking Jalid. Can we get through this from here? I'm hoping. This is where we met Tally. Oh, keeper. Oh, yeah, we also have to scan those freaking. Find those. Oh. No, no, no. Don't kill that keeper. I just freaking hit the wrong button. C433. All right. Okay, so... Wait, didn't... Right! Because we gotta take the elevator up and we get to where we gotta talk to the people and everything and... We also have to scan for that uh, signal thingy. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, Serviceman Batia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Yeah. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. I don't really know if we're that courageous. We just go out and... Apparently we're just errand boys now. Or oh, I'm sorry, errand boy and errand girls. Okay, so Jalid is over here. He was over here. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the ward. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. We'll never get bored. I think we might have actually... Oh, right. No, we have to... Right, we have to go all the way back up again. Because, yeah, it's... Sorry, brain fart. In 
entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production <laughs> will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. That'll go... interesting. If you've played these games before, you know that it was kind of a success. Like a running joke. Running gag. Okay, I believe that... oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, we took a wrong turn. <laughs> yeah, we took a wrong turn. But there is a keeper here, so it's more fortuitous than we think. Oh shit. Okay, you know what? No, fuck it. Where's the car? Can't use this car. I'm sorry about that, guys. I took us in a really bad direction. It wouldn't have been so bad if it was just me playing, but because you guys are watching me play... Alright. Well, you guys will get to see me use this anyway. Wards, I believe. C-Sec. Okay, C-Sec, and now we need to go up here, I think. I almost feel like we should go back to the ship and actually change out some people. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yeah, I did. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the data? You did not mention that before. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Good God. Just, why are there so many freaking idiots here on the... I don't want to discuss this in private. Okay. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just there to help her out. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Oh, crap. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. And then we gotta go back to the markets. 
Actually, I do gotta find something. Okay, the signal tracking. Wards access corridor. Fuck, we were just there! Pick up and the hostage. Yeah. Markets. Okay. So Jax is down here, I believe. Close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with that one. Because if you blow it, basically... Well, I think you get the girl out, but it... Uh, yeah, now we have to go back to Chalak, but... Uh, you do have to go to the Ward's Access Corridor. Which I think is... Where we... No, I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, I think it's in this vicinity. Like, yeah, I think it's like up. So who's gonna talk? Don't need to talk this time. You must welcome civilization after so long a time in the Prothean ruins. No, cities and stations were always my mother's area of comfort. I actually enjoy the solitude of dig sites. The ship I grew up on was always full of noise and people. The solitude of a dig site would drive me crazy. I think she just called you crazy. But I could have been wrong. I usually do prefer my solitude. Um, myself. Um, that is mainly because I suffer from, uh, um, social anxiety disorder. So being out in large crowds, it's gotten better, but it, oh, here we are. It, um, shit, we were just here. Still flares up sometimes. Even when I'm in family, it's, it's bad. All right. And I think the next one is actually in the financial district. Sidium. Do we want to go back to the Sidium? No, we have to go to CSEC. Yes, I will talk to my mother about you. Are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the so one thing I've actually really noticed, and I am talking over this guy, but he's just a, uh, we'll hear that later on, I'm sure, is uh, Liara. Like, in this one, she seems very kind of warm and full of life, but in the last two, she is very cold and wooden. She's like the Christian steward of, the spa of uh, space.
And no, I have not ever seen the Twilight movies, nor will I ever. Ever. Okay, so... That will take us there. Uh, we gotta go here, I think. Yes, because we have to go all the way down here. Wait, what is that? Ah, oh, stupid loading screen. What is that? That's just some dude talking to some girl. Oh, but I think there might actually be a keeper down here. Over here. Is there a keeper? There is a keeper, but have we scanned it? We've scanned him. Little bastard. Although, actually, I want to see if I can maybe get like a better health thingy. Oh. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Damn it! Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. <laughs> Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. That's one thing about the Citadel that I really don't like. Shit just snowballs! I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. I'll help you, but I want credit to next P, babe. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay, so we have 39,000-ish. Uh, what am I using? Oh, I can't compare. I don't think I can actually sell it because it's in my suit right now, isn't it? Just let me find out what there is when I'm what I'm using. I am using. Oh hell! Commander Shepard, any luck with my blackmailer? Did you speak with Morland down in the markets? I no, will. I just. I'm working on it. Of course. I didn't mean to pressure you. Was there something else you needed? Yes. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. I want this. Okay, now we will just freaking God, seasick ward, seasick. Jeez. Actually, before I forget. You know what, since we're right here, like right frickin' here, oh. Oh, and toxin resistance, that's awesome. How much shields do I have? Two bars, okay. We might as well talk to him since we're like right frickin' here. Then I'll take a cab down to CSEC. Then we'll just track down that signal and then that'll that's it. We're done. No more! No more! I swear, no more. Marlin! Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? 
You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlon. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. <laughs> Shut up, Morlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. <laughs> Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. What do you know about Baines? Oh, shit. I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Well, now we gotta go talk to the doctor again. Oh. Let's test this thing out, shall we? Wow. Perimeter clear. I cover so fast. Yeah, sometimes I do that. I hurt myself on purpose just to see myself regenerate. It's cool. I've actually never really done like a uh, a spacer one before. Uh, so basically, the one I did, he actually didn't have parents. The spacer one's the only one we actually do have living parents. Okay. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. Oh, son of a... I just spent... Damn it. Thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Perhaps Captain Anderson will have some knowledge about this man. Oh, great. Let's see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay. So... We have, like, two of these? Damn. Oh, but they're not worth that much anyway. Oh, okay. Return the shipment to Chalak. Follow the signal in the Presidium. And we're gonna talk to Baines and or talk to Anderson about Baines. God damn it! <sighs> God damn it! Okay, where have we got to go? I think we got to go down here and... Yeah. So pissed off I was on autopilot. I swear. Finish up with Chalik and then we'll end the episode. Good God. In a further development, 
involved in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Sorry. I was letting the guy talk and then really couldn't think of anything to say, so I just let you guys listen to the music. Was it nice music? <laughs> I think I just, when I hit the loading screen, I just walked right into a wall. <laughs> okay. Chalik, my good man, we gotta talk. Commander, I hear you have something. Here's your shipment, Chellick. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Okay, we leveled up. We got something in the inventory. What did we get in the... <laughs> Incendiary rounds. The thing we've been looking for the entire damn goddamn playthrough, and there it is. Alright, well, let's compare it. Okay, so we're using chemical rounds 3. 7 damage per second. Incendiary rounds... Okay, all it does is basically just nerf our, nerf our accuracy a bit. We'll try it. Throw it in. Okay. And squad. Alright. So we gotta start using, like, charm. Because, like, throwing stuff in charm. Because there's, like, a lot of things we could have solved and we couldn't. Okay. Um. We'll give you a lift. Why not? Go nuts with it. Ellie, what do we got for you? Um, one for your shield, and then one for... Pistol. Why not? Don't know how much longer you'll be coming out anyway. Anyway, guys. That's... That's it for this episode. I think we gotta talk to that guy. Until will probably start up more things. I don't know. Anyway, so that's it for this episode. Hopefully next time we can leave the Citadel again. I said that the last time too we got here. Why can't we leave here? God, when I was doing my other playthrough, I went out and did everything I could. Then came back here. <laughs> Which is what I'm probably going to do next time. Okay, guys. So, you know, just do what you want. Like, comment, whatever. Truckers like Lone Out, this game is just ticking me off right now. <laughs>